Hello and welcome to another tutorial by Camutac Corporation. My name is Carlos and I'll be guiding you through another tutorial today. And um, today we're going to talk about something that is very important, which is antivirus. Now, I noticed that a lot of customers, when I come visit or whenever they bring computers over to our shop, um, they have either an expired version or they don't have at all. And that is something that is very important you know since today most people are downloading music pictures accessing website that they don't know what's inside of the website so it's very important to have an up-to-date and some type of antivirus that you actually do understand how to work with so I'm gonna teach you today how to download a free version of uh, antivirus from Avast which personally I've been using for three years and I love it so today I'm gonna teach you the simple steps we're gonna go to together over it and we're gonna start by opening our web browser um, in this case I'm using Firefox something that I wanna make sure that you guys are aware of um, I'm using Windows 7 uh, 64 bit now for this tutorial specifically it's not an issue because if you're using Windows Vista or maybe XP for e either one of them it will still work so you have no problem. Here on the web address we're gonna type in www.avast now that's A-V-A-S-T dot com and once it opens up we're gonna click for home on the right on the top just to make sure we always you know get the right one. Here on the first one as you can see there's a free antivirus and it says here world's most popular antivirus um, I'm pretty sure it's very famous because it's free and it's very very good so we're gonna click scroll down a little bit here and we're gonna click on download and once we hit click on download is gonna ask you if you wanna instead of the um, the free version if you wanna buy the uh, professional or the better version by just $39.99 which is a promotion that they're doing right now if you don't if you want to you know upgrade it fine but if you don't want to just click on the, right on the bottom in gray it says no thanks I want free protection um, personally I would click on that one <laughs> but um, it will take you to another website called download.cnet.com this is a download website it's very trustworthy um, right here on the big green um, button it says you download now test this spyware free just click on it and some computers are different my computer when I click something to download either pops up this window saying save file or sometimes here on Firefox if I press control J um, it will open the little window you know with the um, downloads but um, that's not the case so just save it uh, we're gonna save it see here that it just opened we're gonna save it on the desktop if you have an option to if not if you're using Firefox and you're downloading it I'll show you exactly where it is so we're just gonna wait for this to download um, it should take about two minutes I'm gonna pause the video and then we're gonna start in a little while okay so we just finished downloading it um, it says here um, complete it shows as you know downloaded already there's no waiting or anything like that we don't need the website anymore so we can just close the web browser down um, again if you saved it on the desktop it should show right here on the desktop if not uh, we're gonna open the file um, documents um, if you're using Windows 7 it will show here downloads if you're using XP I believe inside the documents there's a folder called downloads but in this case for Windows 7 and Windows Vista I think we should go to downloads it's a different folder and um, just scroll down I have a whole bunch of stuff here that I have downloaded before um, you should see here something called setup AV free CNET that's what we're gonna work with um, so I'm, just for show purposes um, you can just double click on it but I'm gonna open the full browser I mean the full menu and put run as an administrator or let's say just open it will ask you if you want to really want to run this file just click on run what it will do is it will open the installation process so a screen will pop up and um, it will ask you for the language of the installation 
For now, let's leave it at English. Um, you can choose another language if you want to, but I don't suggest you do. Click Next. Um, it would ask you if you want to participate in the Avast community. What it will do is it will send information about your computer and about stuff that goes on with the um, antivirus on your computer so that they can better improve. It's a good option, but let's not do it this time. Let's just press next. And um, you'll say here installation in progress. And you will do a restore point and it will begin to install the antivirus on your computer. So you will just take a little couple of minutes and you should see the result of the installation. So after we're finished installing, as it just finished right now, I'm going to show you how to you know, move around and do a better scan. Um, I suggest, say, it says here down here that you just finished updating the virus definitions. Every day when you turn on the computer or every time, you know, probably every day, even if your computer's on, it would say something like that. You hear a little voice saying your your definitions have been updated. Um, I suggest you register your program. Um, let's do it right now. It's going to ask you if you want to upgrade it. It'll give you an even better price than the other one as we downloaded it. Um, just register the free version. Put here whatever information it is. You know, um, email address. The information about you know your country we're in the USA so USA and I'm in Florida just choose whatever applies to you is ask it ask is here um, how do you configure the settings in your antivirus software do you actually sorry you know just you don't need to answer that just whatever um, just click register here for a free license and that's it. It says here, um, credit alert, this and that. Just right here on the bottom left hand side, it says skip credit activation. Just skip that. Current status, it shows as registered, so it means that we have registered. And it shows here until 2012. So we have a year of subscription for free antivirus, which is pretty awesome. Now, Here's the main page, okay? Um, here you can probably see the summary. It says secured, uh, silent gaming mode off. You don't need to worry about that. Um, statistics right here on the left hand side under summary. Um, it's just information about the, you know, how many files were infected, every, uh, last time you scanned, you know, what time you scanned, how long it took. So you don't need to worry about that either. Um, now scan computer it's pretty pretty obvious here it says scan now you know boot time scan and scan logs scan now means that you know you scan the computer now you can do a quick scan to try to find something superficial um, a full system scan sometimes you might have a removable media which is like a pen drive or uh, mp4 or some kind of external hard drive or something like that you can just scan that thing also um, and you can also scan a folder. You can select a folder to scan. So those are the four options that you can do. Now, as I was saying, for the um, annoying pop-ups, and you know, if you think you might have a virus or something, I really do suggest you don't do use any of these. You go to boot time scan. It says here, right here in the middle, left hand side. It says current status on schedule. Um, I suggest you put in a high and. Um, you know schedule it now click on schedule now what it will do is once you turn off the computer once you restart the computer um, it will scan it will it will show you a message I can't show it show it to you because I can't you know go to DOS and um, show you but it will show a screen saying um, if, you know we're gonna scan the computer and then once you hit OK it will scan the computer before loading Windows so what you what it means is um, it's basically um, the scripted here, but um, what it'll do is it will scan the, all the Windows files, everything that is not used um, by Windows, and everything that is used by Windows before it, Windows uses it. Because once 
you start Windows, there's some files that you can access because it's been used. So I really do suggest if you have any doubt or anything like that, um, I recently did it, so I don't need to do it right now, but schedule now and, you know, just restart the computer. It will take a little while for it to do, so, you know, do it whenever you don't need to use the computer because it will make the computer very slow. And once you do a boot time scan, you, you know, you have to wait until it finishes for you to log into Windows. Scan logs is just, you know, the um, how many times you scan, uh, times, and, you know, literally scan logs. Shields, real time shields. Um, these are, you know, shields for file system, mail, if you're using Outlook, um, web, P2P is, um, you know, when you're sharing files, applications, and stuff like that. It's messaging. Um, behavior network you know if you have more than one computer in your network so these are all shields you should leave them all on and you show you here like you know traffic and etc um, additional protection I really don't use this you know I really suggest you don't worry about this maintenance the same thing every once in a while I'll come here and update you know the def definitions just in case if it hasn't done it yet Update program is very important because sometimes you might have an old version. So I suggest you every once in a while, you know, like every six months or so, come here and just click there. What it will do is it will literally scan, download some stuff, and it will tell you that your current version is still one up to date. So let's just finish until this one finishes. And you will see that it says that already up to date, you know, current version, this and that. So Registration, we already did that. That's the first time, that's the first screen that we, we had after the registration. Virus chest. Everything that you have scanned in the computer and it shows as, you know, threatened. The option that I usually ask everybody to do it, you know, especially my customers that I, I suggest them to do every time you find something wrong with the computer, like spyware or malware or something like that, just put everything move to chest. Always choose the option to move to chest. Why? Because sometimes you might recognize something from Windows or something from a program that you're trying to install and it's very important to you. And if you delete it, you know, you might delete the actual file and you, the program that you try to install it won't work. And once you move to chest, if it's here, you can just right click on it and, you know, and, and um, release it or transfer back or restore it to wherever it is. And you, you get the program back working instead of having to reinstall, uninstall and reinstall the program. Um, about Avast, you know, just information about the company and like Avast, you know, just in case if you like them. There's a help center here. Um, the settings tab, you just, you know, some settings here if you want to play with them, go ahead. I don't, because I like it basic, just the way it is. So we're going to close down the antivirus. Um, it says you're welcome to free Avast. We already did that, so close it down. It shows here in one of the, um, these are the, um, the little gadgets I don't want to hear so I just close it down and that's it your computer is running with Avast if you go here in the bottom where you see the clock in you see the little triangle here it shows hidden icons you click on it there's the uh, little A is the uh, icon for Avast you double click on it it'll pop up the screen that we were at so if you ever need to go back to it there it is and if you have any questions, just make sure you check us out at canvytech.com or just give us an, send us an email or just leave us a comment. I hope you have understood and I hope you have installed it correctly and everything is fine. If you need additional help, just contact us. Thank you for watching the video and have a great day.